Is this the engine that will redefine the future of aviation? Rolls-Royce's Ultrafan is not just the largest engine ever built, it promises unmatched efficiency and innovation. But can it surpass the dominance of General Electric's GE9X, the current record holder for highest thrust? Stay tuned to discover if Rolls-Royce's bold new engine is truly the key to a new era in aviation. The GE9X created by General Electric is the world's largest commercial aircraft engine in operation today and holds the Guinness World Record for the highest thrust ever recorded. Launched in April 2016 and receiving FAA approval in September 2020, it was built to power the Boeing 777X, a wide-body aircraft. The first version of this aircraft, the 777 made its debut flight in early 2020. This engine builds on the legacy of the GE90, which powers various Boeing 777 models like the 777-200 and 777300. The GE9X is notable for its enormous size with a front fan diameter of 134 inches and an overall diameter approaching 4 meters. This makes it even wider than the fuselage of a Boeing 737 Classic. Compared to the GE90, which has a maximum fan diameter of 130 30 inches, the GE9X has a larger and lighter fan. The GE9X can generate up to 105,000 pounds of thrust, with a total thrust rating reaching 210,000 pounds. It has set a world record with 134,300 pounds of thrust. Some engineers question the necessity of such high thrust levels, especially since the GE90-115 model can produce up to 115,540 pounds of thrust. The GE9X uses 16 carbon fiber blades in its fan, designed with a special curve to enhance lift compared to the 22 blades used in the GE90. Inside, the GE9X features both low and high pressure turbines, a core, and a compressor. The high pressure turbine, the hottest part of the engine, can reach temperatures up to 2400 degrees Celsius comparable to lava. To withstand these intense temperatures, the engine incorporates advanced ceramic materials. Now, GE was confident that no one could surpass them in the market, but then Rolls-Royce stepped in with a bold challenge. As the aviation industry shifts towards engines that are more fuel efficient and eco-friendly, the GE9X might face tough competition. Rolls-Royce, known for its luxury and high-performance engines in both cars and planes, is now making waves with its new engine, the Ultrafan. This engine is a game changer, aimed at replacing engines on popular aircraft like the Boeing 737 and the Airbus A320. You might be wondering how such a large engine could fit on these smaller planes, which are staples in the industry. The answer lies in the technology used in the Ultrafan. Rolls-Royce is developing ways to adapt this advanced technology for smaller engines that can be used on these narrow-body aircraft. But Rolls-Royce faces stiff competition from other major players in the field. Pratt & Whitney is developing the geared turbofan engine, and CFM International is working on its Rise Open fan engine. Both of these are significant contenders in the quest for more efficient and environmentally friendly aircraft engines. So, while Rolls-Royce is pushing the boundaries with the Ultrafan, the battle for the best engine in the aviation industry is far from over. But how will the Ultrafan revolutionize the entire aviation industry? Before answering that, let's take a look at Rolls-Royce track record. They introduced the RB211 and the Trent family of engines, which have powered a wide range of aircraft, including the Boeing 787 and several Airbus models like the A330, A340, A350, and A380. Rolls-Royce engines even power the Queen Elizabeth class aircraft carriers, showing their versatility and reliability. However, there's a noticeable gap in Rolls-Royce's strategy. All the planes they typically service are wide-body, long-haul aircraft. These planes are essential, but they don't make up the bulk of the market. Smaller, narrow-body aircraft like the Boeing 737 and Airbus A320 are far more numerous and are the real workhorses of the aviation industry. Rolls-Royce, however, doesn't produce engines for these smaller planes, except for the Boeing 717, which leaves them at a significant disadvantage. This lack of diversification has put a dent in Rolls-Royce's profits. While they've never needed to focus on smaller engines before, the current market dynamics are changing. Fuel efficiency and environmental concerns are driving the demand for more efficient engines across all types of aircraft. Rolls-Royce now sees the need to adapt and expand its product line. The Ultrafan could be the key to this transformation. Although it is designed as a large engine, the technology behind it can be scaled down to fit smaller aircraft. This could finally allow Rolls-Royce to compete in the narrow body market, challenging other major players like Pratt & Whitney and CFM International. A significant shift occurred in 2011 when Pratt & Whitney bought out Rolls-Royce's shares in the the V2500 engine project. Before this buyout, Rolls-Royce was a crucial partner in the International Aero Engines, aka the IAE consortium responsible for producing the V2500 engines. These engines powered various aircraft like the Airbus A320, McDonnell Douglas MD90, and Embraer's KC390. 
Rolls-Royce contributed 30% of the engines alongside Pratt & Whitney, which held the largest share. Other partners included Japanese Aero Engine Corporation with 23%, Germany's MTU with 11%, and Fiat Avio with 6%. This collaboration allowed Rolls-Royce to focus on wide-body aircraft, business jets, and helicopters without needing to diversify into smaller aircraft engines. Their strategy worked well for a while because they made significant revenue from maintenance, repairs, and overhauls. However, when Pratt & Whitney bought them out, Rolls-Royce lost their stake in the V2500 project and the profitable power-by-the-hour service contracts that came with it. This was a major financial hit. Further adding to their troubles was an issue with their Trent 1000 engines used on the Boeing 787. Just five years after entering service, these engines began experiencing premature corrosion and cracks in the turbine blades. This flaw forced Rolls-Royce to ground all aircraft powered by the Trent 1000, costing them billions in repairs and compensation. As if these challenges weren't enough, the COVID-19 pandemic struck, severely impacting the entire aviation industry, including Rolls-Royce. With air travel drastically reduced, the demand for new engines and maintenance services plummeted, leading to significant financial losses. And now we come to Rolls-Royce's latest challenge with the Ultrafan engine. Or is it an opportunity? The Ultrafan, with its groundbreaking design, was intended to rival Pratt & Whitney's geared turbofan. It promised to be adaptable for smaller aircraft, potentially transforming the market. Initially, everything seemed to align perfectly with Boeing's strategy. Rolls-Royce believed that once the Ultrafan was ready, it would be installed on Boeing's new midsize airplane, solving many financial woes. However, in 2022, Boeing's CEO announced a delay in developing their new midsize airplane, pushing the timeline back by at least a few years. This decision was based on waiting for the next generation of engines to mature. For Rolls-Royce, this was a major setback. They had anticipated that by 2025, Boeing's new airplane would be flying, powered by the Ultrafan. This delay felt like another blow adding to their recent struggles. Rolls-Royce's journey has been fraught with challenges from losing key projects to dealing with technical issues, yet they remain committed to innovation and progress. The Ultrafan represents their hope for the future, a chance to regain their competitive edge and lead the way in creating more efficient, environmentally friendly aircraft engines. In mid-November 2023, Airbus made history by running the Rolls-Royce Ultrafan at full power. This massive engine with a diameter of 140 inches surpassed the previous record held by General Electric's GE9X, which has a diameter of 134 inches. At Rolls-Royce's Testbed 80 facility in Derby, UK, the Ultrafan reached its maximum power, producing an astonishing 64 megawatts of power and over 85,000 pounds of static thrust. The company even claims that the thrust can reach up to 110,000 pounds mid-flight, suitable for both narrow-body and wide-body aircraft. This test was significant because it was conducted using 100% sustainable aviation fuel, marking a major step towards greener aviation technology. The successful use of SAF not only shows the Ultrafan's advanced capabilities, but it also displays Rolls-Royce's commitment to sustainability. Moreover, Rolls-Royce has proven that all their other engines are compatible with SAF, reinforcing their position as a leader in eco-friendly aviation technology. Earlier this year, the Ultrafan was tested for the first time and it performed well. Since then, Rolls-Royce has been gradually increasing the engine's power as part of a detailed testing process. The results so far have met their expectations and the data gathered from these tests will be thoroughly analyzed to prove valuable insights. This milestone boosts Rolls-Royce's confidence in their Ultrafan's technology. The engine is designed to be more efficient than its predecessors, including the Trent WXB, which is already known as the world's most efficient large aero engine. The successful testing of the Ultrafan is a crucial step in advancing the efficiency of both current and future aircraft engines. By using SAF and demonstrating improved performance, Rolls-Royce is moving closer to their goal of revolutionizing aviation with more sustainable and efficient technology. Now, the Rolls-Royce Ultrafan engine is designed to be highly versatile, with the ability to generate thrust ranging from approximately 25,000 to 110,000 pounds. This scalability means it has the potential to power both new, narrow-body, and wide-body aircraft expected to enter service in the 2030s. As part of the Ultrafan project, Rolls-Royce has discovered several advanced technologies that can also be applied to their existing Trent engines. These upgrades promise to enhance the performance, reliability, and efficiency of their current engine lineup, offering even greater benefits to their customers. The Ultrafan has been in development for a decade, with its concept first revealed to the public in 2014. Unlike the approximately 4,200 large civil engines currently in service from Rolls-Royce, the Ultrafan features a completely new design architecture. It incorporates a geared system that is larger and more advanced than anything produced by other industry players at this scale. 
Testing at this large scale provides Rolls-Royce with the flexibility to create smaller versions of the Ultravan as needed. This versatility allows them to offer a range of propulsion solutions for future aircraft. The Ultrafan's design includes options for two-shaft, three-shaft, direct drive, and geared systems, making it adaptable to various aircraft requirements. One of the key features of the Ultrafan is its 50-megawatt power gearbox, which was developed at Rolls-Royce's facility in Dalowitz, Germany. This gearbox helps the engine manage its power more efficiently. Additionally, the Ultrafan incorporates several advanced technologies, including a composite fan system, hybrid ceramic bearings, and ceramic matrix composites, aka CMCs. The composite fan system is designed to be lighter and more durable. Hybrid ceramic bearings and CMCs are crucial for handling the high temperatures and pressures inside the engine. CMCs, which are used mainly for turbine seal segments, are made from continuous silicone carbide fibers embedded in a ceramic matrix. Matrix. This design makes them lighter and better at withstanding extreme temperatures compared to traditional materials. These advanced materials and technologies were previously tested in the HT3 or the High Temperature Turbine Technology Demonstrator, which was based on the Trent XWB97 engine. This earlier testing helped refine the use of high temperature features and ensure they perform well under the demanding conditions inside the Ultrafan. Tufan Ergen Bilgic CEO of Rolls-Royce PLC talked about the significance of the achievement by stating that achieving full power with their Ultrafan demonstrator displayed that Rolls-Royce was leading the way in aviation innovation and technology. He emphasized that this milestone showcased their commitment to advancing more efficient and sustainable aviation solutions, positioning the company to support their customers in developing the next generation of super-efficient aircraft. Simon Berg, Group Director of Engineering Technology and Safety at Rolls-Royce PLC, emphasized the broader impact of the Ultrafan noting, quote, to achieve net zero flying by 2050, we estimate that highly efficient next generation engines like the Ultrafan running on 100% sustainable aviation fuel will be crucial. This milestone is a significant step for Rolls-Royce and the aviation industry as a whole. Testing the Ultrafan demonstrator marks the result of years of hard work and collaboration. This ambitious project has been supported by several key organizations, including the UK government through the Aerospace Technology Institute and Innovate UK, as well as EU's Clean Sky programs, LUFO, and the state of Brandenburg in Germany. As part of ongoing research under Europe's Clean Aviation program, Rolls-Royce is involved in an exciting project called Heaven, or the Hydrogen Engine Architecture Virtually Engineered Novelty. The Heaven project is a major initiative with a budget of 35.6 million euros, about $38 million US. Its goal is to explore how to scale the ultrafan concept for short to medium range aircraft and integrate cutting edge technologies like hybrid electric systems and direct hydrogen combustion. By focusing on these innovative approaches, the project aims to achieve a 20% reduction in fuel consumption consumption compared to current engines. The Heaven project brings together a diverse group of partners from across Europe, including France, Germany, the Netherlands, Spain, and the UK. This collaborative effort includes academic institutions, research organizations, and industrial partners working together to push the boundaries of aviation technology. In addition to Heaven, Rolls-Royce is also leading another clean aviation initiative called Cavendish. This 29.2 million euro project focuses on integrating lean burn hydrogen combustion technology in a Pearl 15 engine, which will be used for ground testing with liquid hydrogen starting in late 2024. These efforts reflect Rolls-Royce's commitment to advancing sustainable aviation technology. By exploring hydrogen and hybrid electric propulsion, the company is working towards reducing the environmental impact of air travel and setting new standards for the industry. Now, the Ultrafan boasts impressive specifications. It features a geared turbofan with a variable pitch fan system, allowing the fan and turbine to operate at their optimal speeds. The fan blades, made of carbon composite materials, contribute to making the engine 10% more efficient than the Trent XWB engine. Additionally, these blades can adjust their pitch to optimize performance during different phases of flight. The Ultrafan also demonstrates a 25% improvement in fuel burn compared to the Trent engine, which is a significant leap in efficiency. Of course, all of that sounds impressive, but how does the Ultrafan stack up against other engines in the market? Well, Pratt & Whitney made headlines by being the first to introduce their geared fan technology to single-aisle aircraft. General Electric and CFM International are also utilizing gear fan technology in their upcoming Rise engine through an innovative open fan architecture. Both companies are incorporating advanced ceramic matrix composite 
composites, which will allow their engines to operate at higher temperatures, thereby increasing efficiency. To boost efficiency, Pratt & Whitney and CFM are aiming to increase the bypass ratio by designing a smaller engine core. Like its competitors, Rolls-Royce is also making use of lightweight materials to make their engines lighter and more efficient. The Ultrafan features a gearbox that allows the fans to run slower than the rest of the engine core, which enhances efficiency and reduces fuel consumption. But what makes Rolls-Royce unique this time? The key difference lies in Rolls-Royce's introduction of their three-pool jet engine design. This innovative approach separates the engine into three distinct sections, each optimized for different operational conditions. This design allows for greater flexibility and efficiency across a wide range of flight phases. In addition to the three-pool design, the Ultrafan incorporates several unique advancements. Its variable pitch fan system adjusts the blade's angle to optimize performance during different flight phases, something not commonly found in other engines. The use of carbon composite materials in the fan blades not only makes the engine lighter, but also more durable and efficient. Rolls-Royce has also demonstrated that their engines can operate efficiently with SAF, positioning them as a leader in sustainable aviation technology. So what's the technology behind the Ultrafan? Well, let's break it down in simple terms. Imagine the engine as a series of interconnected parts that rotate at different speeds. This is made possible by several turbines at the rear of the engine, which drive multiple concentric shafts. This is the three-spool jet engine, and it allows different parts of the engine to operate at their optimal speeds. To reduce harmful emissions, Rolls-Royce is also introducing a new lean burn combustor system. This system burns fuel more efficiently, resulting in fewer pollutants. In May 2023, the engineering team tested the Ultrafan and achieved remarkable results. The engine reached a pressure ratio of 70 to 1 and a bypass ratio of 14 to 1. For comparison, the Trent engine and earlier Rolls-Royce model had a pressure ratio of 50 to 1 and bypass ratio of 10 to 1. These higher ratios mean the Ultrafan is much more efficient and powerful. Powerful. So, could this revolutionary design and these impressive features allow Rolls-Royce to outshine its competitors? Rolls-Royce is already challenging General Electric by building the largest engine in the world, but that's just the start. The real competition will be if Rolls-Royce can scale down the Ultrafan to fit smaller aircraft like the Airbus A320 and Boeing 737. If they can achieve this, they can stand to make significant profits. The reason Rolls-Royce built the Ultrafan so large is that they wanted a direct replacement for their Trent family of engines, which power many wide-body aircraft. This strategic move ensures that the Ultrafan can seamlessly step in where the Trent engines are currently used, maintaining their presence in the long-haul aircraft market. However, even though Rolls-Royce plans to develop a smaller version of the Ultrafan for narrow-body aircraft like the Airbus A320 and Boeing 737, this won't happen immediately. The process of miniaturizing such advanced technology takes time, so we shouldn't expect a smaller Ultrafan in the very near future. Despite this, Rolls-Royce is in a strong financial position, which is good for their future. Their current financial stability allows them to invest in ongoing research and development, setting the stage for significant advancement in engine technology. With the successful launch of the Ultrafan, Rolls-Royce is on a promising path to becoming the leading producer of airplane engines in the coming years. Thanks for joining us on this gripping journey through the events surrounding the Rolls-Royce Ultrafan. Do you believe Rolls-Royce can surpass General Electric with the Ultrafan engine? And what are your thoughts on the Ultrafan being able to use 100% sustainable aviation fuel? But hey, the excitement doesn't have to end here. If you enjoyed the ride, subscribe for more thrilling tales and feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. And before you go, make sure your seatbelt is fastened and tray tables are up. Safe travels and happy subscribing.